about 4.06 p.m. on Saturday the 25th. A small aluminium boat with three males on board were off John Williams Reserve, uh, St George's Basin. They were hit by a couple of uh, waves and the boat was swamped and all three ended up in the water. Well, luckily there were several recreational people around on the bay and uh, they pulled them all out of the water. I tell you what, they're bloody lucky. No life jackets, mate, they're lucky. Well, we're under sail going back from Sanctuary Point back to Sussex and this guy's swimming in the middle of nowhere. We grabbed him on board and he told the horrific story. You know, they tipped over in their boat, the boat sunk and there's another two guys out there floundering in the water. We've been searching for over an hour, up and down, up and down to no avail and we tell them the police, the police, we rang the police and this is the end result. We've got all three of them found, thank God for that. I said, how can you go out in a boat without a life jacket? One of our main concerns, uh, neither of the three males were wearing life jackets and we were investigating that and uh, there's always a stern warning in the waters on the south coast, anything can happen, always have your safety vest on. From talking to the other people they said that another couple of minutes and he would have been, wouldn't have been swimming anymore. So yeah. what sort of condition was he in when you brought him on board? Five more minutes he would have been dead for sure. Well, we're just out there, we're just coming back from fishing as Pete said and we come across the bloke, waved his arms in the air, his back was crooked. He couldn't pull the bloke on the boat, so we gave him in, pulled him on, brought him back in the heat. Just going to turn around, and as I've gone to turn around, waves just come over the side, within two seconds we sunk the whole boat. So what happened after that? After that, um, we were just in the water, and um, mates were freaking out a fair bit and that, and I just turned around and said I'm swimming back to shore to try and get help. Did you all stick together, or just once for us? What? Um, I... Uh, the other two stuck together and uh, I swam back, I was the first one back. And how long before you got to shore? Oh, uh, probably would have been, I reckon an hour and a half, two hours, all up. Yeah. Two hours? Yeah, about two hours. That's a long yeah. time. Yeah, in the water. Yeah. How were you feeling? Oh, yeah, I was pretty exhausted, but when I started seeing my car, I knew that I was getting close, so I just kept going. And the other two guys, how did they get to shore? Uh, they got picked up, but I pretty much got picked up. I was like a couple of hundred metres away from shore and then a boat come and picked me up. A bit scary out there, mate. Oh, yeah, it's a bit. And how's the other guys? Are they feeling okay? Or? Yeah, they're not too bad. One's got a bit of water in him, but yeah, hopefully he should be right. All right, mate. Um, did you learn anything, learn anything from today? Yeah, make sure I've got life jackets on at all times. No, I belong to a club. People get in trouble, we rescue them or give them assistance. I don't feel a hero, no, no way.